right, so I have an example here. How would a healthcare professional make 75 milliliters of a 25% volume per volume solution of hydrogen peroxide in water? So, a couple of things. Um, first and foremost, I think if we can interpret what this 25% volume per volume solution, if we can interpret that and figure out what that means, that'll go a long way to helping us solve the problem. A lot of times if there's something you can't quite wrap your mind around in a, a word problem, it makes it almost impossible to m create an equation to be able to solve it. So 25% volume per volume means, means that 25% of the total volume is the volume of the hydrogen peroxide. So if we interpret what the 25% volume per volume means, um, that we can translate that into an equation. So let's see if we can translate that into an equation. 25% um, is just, so an equation, 25% is just 25%. Do you remember what of means? Tells us to multiply. And then the total volume. So what is the total volume? Do we, do we know what it is? Yeah, it's this um, 75 milliliters that I've boxed. Because that's what we're trying to make. That's the total volume that we want to have in the end. So of means times. So we're going to multiply by the total volume, which is our 75 milliliters. And then another key word is, tells us to make an equal and the volume of hydrogen peroxide. Do we know the volume of hydro hydrogen peroxide? No, that's what we're trying to figure out. So I'm going to call that X. Because if we can find the volume of hydrogen peroxide, we can then figure out how to mix up the solution, right? The rest is water. So 25% times 75 milliliters. Well, we can solve this a couple different ways. You can write 25% as 25 over 100. Um, or you can write it as a decimal. Either way, I like fractions. You might like decimals. It doesn't matter. You'll get the same answer. Okay. Um, and then when we reduce this, you end up with 18.75 milliliters is our volume of hydrogen peroxide. So to how do we figure out how much water we need? You take the total volume, just like we did in the concentrate section, subtract the volume of hydrogen peroxide, and then that gives you the amount of water you need. You have the amount of hydrogen peroxide you need. There you go. You have everything you need to make your solution. Um, but there's also another way that you can solve these. You can solve them with proportions. Um, and so to solve this with a proportion, so remember in the last little video I wrote down, um, what percent volume per volume means, right? So 25% volume per volume means 25 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to run out of room, so I'm going to abbreviate. I hope that's okay. Uh, per, right, the percent tells us 100, per 100, per 100, and we're talking volume again, so we're going to go with milliliters of solution. So that's what our 25% volume per volume is. Um, so in, in 100 milliliters of solution, 25 of those milliliters should be hydrogen peroxide. So with this, we can set up a proportion. Um, if, I, if I'm making a new solution where I want my total volume to be 75 milliliters of solution, right? to figure that out, I need to know the amount of hydrogen peroxide, the milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. Um, so, and we know that it has to be in proportion to, right, 25 milliliters 
um, hydrogen peroxide per 100 milliliters of solution. And then we can go ahead and solve this proportion just like you would uh, normally. And you will find your X equals 18.75 milliliters. So there you have it. So you can use equations or proportions either way. Uh, both ways you can solve this uh, word problem just fine.